So Barnes & Noble is encouraging us to read to you. And so I wanted to take this moment to read a couple pages from my latest release, Between Us. This is the moment where my two main characters, Danny and Emma, meet for the first time. I hope you enjoy. Chapter 2, Emma. Had it not been for the wall adjacent to the steps, I would have planted face first on the pavement. My tremulous exit caused some heads to turn and I almost died of embarrassment. I could feel myself blushing. Under normal circumstances, I would have dashed out of sight, not making eye contact with anyone. But I was in too much pain to take a single step. So instead, I hobbled over closer to the wall and leaned against it. This is great, I mumbled. Damn shoes. I shouldn't have listened to Kate when she insisted I buy the highest and pointiest shoes on display. I made a mental note to get rid of them as soon as I got home, if not sooner. That bad, huh? I looked up, surprised by a voice. Is it that obvious? I chuckled. A guy standing near me observed me more so than my throbbing ankle. A bit, he answered with a tilt of his head. The shock of almost falling and the embarrassment that followed slowly started fading. A giddy and happier feeling replaced it, twisted ankle and all. I breathed a sigh of relief, hopeful for my future. Leaning against the wall, I turned my gaze to the sky, which was dark but covered in small clusters of stars. In that moment, I could sense how serious I was about wanting things to change in my life. So far, I'd been standing, favoring my left foot, hardly applying any pressure to the right. It was time to test it out. I stood straight, planting the foot firmly on the ground, but as soon as I stood on it, I limped back to the left foot again, not ready yet. It was about midnight and the club hoppers were nowhere near done for the night. People were still entering Luna and cars were being valeted as if they were, it was the start of the evening instead of the end. Where do I start? It didn't seem appropriate to be contemplating my life outside a bar. I was afraid to move, afraid that the further I got from here, the less I would remember how I was feeling. I wanted to hold on to that feeling of wanting more, of needing more, so I wouldn't forget come next Saturday night. My thoughts were interrupted by the guy's phone ringing. Sorry about that, he said, ignoring the call. Oh, it's okay, it's a public wall, I said with a shrug. You seem to be in deep thought. You jump when the phone ring. My cheeks reddened again, realizing he'd still been watching me. Oh, I said, biting my lip and looking away. But then, as discreetly as possible, I turned to look at him. He was tall, dressed well in gray slacks with a black shirt. His light brown hair was cut short and he had a bit of a stubble. Cute for sure, I surmised. He looked just like every other guy that frequented Luna. Professional, overwork, 30 something. However, I didn't recall ever seeing him before. I would have remembered him. Want to talk about it, he coaxed. I contemplated his question. Talking to strangers was something I never did. This would be small. This would be a small start to change in my predictable life, no? But I was crazy if I thought he was sincerely interested in my thoughts. I knew better. We were at a lounge after all. Nah, it's not Luna conversation I offered. That much I figured. If I was interested in Luna conversation, I would be inside, he said after ignoring another call. Still, it's personal, but thanks. I placed my foot on the ground again, testing it once more. It was better. So I kept shifting back and forth between the two. Okay, but I might be able to help. Both feet were now on the sidewalk and I looked at him without trepidation. Why is that? I remarked. Because I'm a good listener. Oh, so I've been told. Is that right? I challenged. Try me. After a beat, I did the very thing I walked away from inside. I engaged in conversation with a perfect stranger. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy that. If you did, make sure that you uh, check out the book, the link to the to buy the book is in the bio and that's it. Keep on reading.